Welcome back. We're at step number four of vehicle emissions diagnostics. Verifying that the catalytic converter is lighting off and operating at the right temperature. To help us understand this step, we're joined today by Robert Mayero of the Tenneco and Walker sales team. Take it away, Robert. Thanks, Deneen. In many respects, a catalytic converter is like an engine. It needs the right balance of air and other elements to do its job. If the emission mix is out of balance, it might not operate at all or could overcompensate and overheat. First, let's cover the term lighting off. This refers to the temperature of which the converter begins to operate and it varies with the size and the location of the converter. It's usually between 350 and 500 degrees Fahrenheit. The best way to check converter temperature is with an infrared thermometer. Check the temperature at the converter's front and rear weld rings. Do not take the reading of the converter shield or body. If the front weld ring doesn't reach 350 degrees, chances are the converter isn't lighting off. This could be due to oil or coolant contamination of the converter substrate, or the exhaust gases could be significantly out of balance. Now check the rear weld ring temperature. It should be 100 to 150 degrees hotter than the inlet temperature. If the temperature at the rear weld ring is much higher, say 350 or 450 degrees above the inlet side, the converter is working too hard due to excessive emissions in the exhaust stream. Overheating will eventually destroy the converter substrate. So taking the converter's temperature helps you determine not only what is or isn't taking place inside the converter body, but also upstream in the engine. That's exactly right. If the engine is feeding the wrong mixture of emissions to the converter, the converter might not light off at all, or it could try to compensate for excessive emissions by operating at an extreme temperature. In either case, you've got to correct the upstream problem before you can determine whether the converter needs to be replaced. That's fascinating. Thank you, Robert. Please be sure to join us for our next program covering step number five of emissions diagnostics, checking for exhaust system restrictions. Thanks for watching.